a filtering thing here. So I could say, let's filter this by, uh, by just the business. And so there's just the business stuff and you might have two tabs then so you can give this information to someone. Here's my business stuff. And then here's my personal stuff, which is actually charitable. There's my charitable miles and here's my personal or business miles, right? That's one way you can do it. You can also use a, a pivot table. Might as well do that for the fun of it, right? You can use it. You can insert a pivot table and say, I'm going to, well, we don't need to do that. I won't do a pivot table, but that's, that's it. And then if you got audited or something like that, you've got the information here and you might give it to your tax preparer as well. So they kind of have this backup information to give you a, a tracking of your miles, as opposed to just saying the odometer method <laughs> where you're just like, Oh, I think I drove the odometer method is like, let's see, where's manage vehicles. Uh, uh, I, th I think my starting miles were, were, hold on a second. Didn't I have an odometer? I think my starting miles were 10,000 and my ending miles, I think are, I are, are like 20, 21,000. So I drove like 11,000 miles during the year. And I'm just going to take like 80% of it as deductible or something like that. If you do that, then you're just estimating out of the blue. And if you get audited on that, you don't have a whole lot of evidence of the of where you went and whatnot. So what you'd like to so what you'd like to be able to do is is be able to give this supporting information to the deduction that you're taking. And note that this uh, deduction amount, if I if I pull over how they're calculating this, is that point six five five, right? That's just the mileage rate. So we could just say point six five five, and then if I drove this many miles times that, uh, then you would think, well, hold on. This still has some personal stuff in it. Let's filter this back down to just business. So then, so then, it, then it comes out right, right? So it's just the 35.76 business miles times this amount. And that's where they're getting this business deduction. Obviously your accountant will take this information and just enter the business miles in. Uh, and then, and then the system will calculate this in this basically the same way, the tax software, but you can get a good estimate of your deduction this way, which might help you for your, for your budgeting, uh, and whatnot. So that's how you can kind of provide it to your tax professional. Now, the next step is that you might want to say, well, well, how can I see that over here in my financial statements? Because I have my actual deductions over here and I want to do this for taxes. How can I kind of change this possibly with the help of Excel, if you're a tax professional or doing your own taxes, or if you just want to do budgeting so that you can kind of see your income statement, we might be able to use like class tracking to give us an idea uh, of, a, of, a, of, a, of the income statement and an adjusted income statement, which is kind of neat. So we'll, t we'll dive into that in future presentations.